I was giving him a hickey and he was like, quit biting me. And I'm like, I'm not biting you. And he was like, here you are. So I bit him. Hey, what it be? It's your boy Dre OG. Welcome back to the OG family, man. If you know the uh, Slayton sisters, you know this is gonna be a lit video, man. Welcome back to the family. You feel me? Look, make sure y'all smash that like button, man. You know, if you're rocking with the vibes and the content. And not to mention, these videos are for education and entertainment purposes. Let's get into it. Yesterday, Tammy went into the hospital. She has pneumonia and she can't breathe. I set up a GoFundMe account. If y'all can donate a penny, they're gonna die. Oh, I hope it's so happy. When Amy and Tammy Slayton first began their YouTube journey back in 2014, they were seen by their audience as two wholesome sisters who were bravely putting themselves out into the world despite their unconventional appearances. However, only a few short years later, that very same audience had grown to hate and despise them. The Slayton sisters would turn their Damn, entire that audience time. against them through controversy after controversy, peaking with one of the most ambitious scandals in YouTube history, a GoFundMe for Tammy Slayton's funeral who hadn't even died. However, if the audience audience had simply known more about these two sisters prior to the beginning of their channel, each of these controversies could have been easily predicted. For example, back in 2010, Amy would be arrested after shoplifting an $8 book from Walmart, showing that even prior to beginning YouTube, the sisters were prone to both cutting corners and cheating the system. I know she's information arrested. would only become public at a later date. So when they first began their channel, they were liked. The sisters built an audience through their strong fan- I ain't gonna lie though, I wonder what she was stealing though. Look man. It might start it might start with something like a T, then like it ends with a winky. Probably was still a nose. Family bond, yeah. positive attitude, and ability to laugh at their own shortcomings. We need to lose weight to be pumps, can they? We don't care if you He's don't like us, we're fat and we love it. They weren't exactly the sharpest tools in the shed, but people appreciated their authenticity. I want to say, hey, I'm fat, I'm fat. But don't you call me fat. Why would I want you to call me fat if we're trying to be in a relationship? Come on now, use your brains. And the fact that they were kind of doing YouTube for themselves, it didn't seem like they were trying to impress anyone. Love when a girl isn't afraid to be herself. I applaud you. Finally, a real person doing a review. Love it. Keep them coming. I love her so much. She always has such a positive, fun, relaxing vibe. The Slayton sisters would receive their first big break after posting a video titled Chubby Bunny Challenge, which had gone to gain a view count in the millions. However, when examining the video's thumbnail and dislike ratio, it was pretty obvious that it had gone viral as a result of people watching to laugh at their physical appearance. How does mine? I remember I Absolutely seen, I think I reacted to that part. Events, that, that takes bravery. I genuinely didn't know it was possible for the human body to lay adipose tissue on the forehead. Anytime I wake <laughs> up and think, I don't really feel like working out today, I just think of this video and it gives me the motivation I need. It was a similar. I, I, that's what I said in my video. I think I said something about her forehead. I think she was in one of my mukbang videos. Yeah, that's when I first seen these sisters right here. Yeah, it was, it was it's baffling to me as well. Like, how the fuck does that happen? You know, it just start losing places to form and it starts just gets to your fucking forehead. That is insane to me. You could, you could see it coming. Like bake with me and try Pause. new makeup. The thumbnails were sufficiently horrid and laughable to make the videos go viral. However, despite the hate, the hundreds this of thousands of fire. views across the videos still brought in others who appreciated the relaxed nature of the channel, growing their fan base further. Oh, you're so cute. Well not on your makeup and ignore all the negative comments. She is so sweet. I would let her put makeup on me any day. All the beauty gurus be like, you gotta do it exactly like this, Kay. And this girl is like, it's your makeup, you choose how to do it. And she did pretty good. I'm gonna sub. However, while a growing fan base would generally be seen as a positive for most YouTube channels. For the Slayton sisters, it would end up becoming a negative as it'd be at around the same time that they begin to reach out to their audience for help in relation to their lack of financial security. For example, after achieving a thousand subscribers on their channel, the Slayton sisters would set up their first GoFundMe requesting that their audience help them buy an Apple MacBook with the goal of increasing the quality of their videos. Now, most of their audience felt as though there was nothing wrong with this proposal. The audience sends a bit of money through, the sisters get a new laptop, and in return, the audience gets a higher average video quality, which is seemingly a win-win for both parties. Yeah. However, on the contrary, some of her viewers felt as though the Slayton sisters were abusing their power as YouTubers in comments such as, delete this, you are going to lose all your subscribers. You're a pathetic lowlife that needs to get off your ass and get a damn job like the rest of us instead of mooching off of us. You are disgusting. And if I were you, thank God I am not, I couldn't wake up in the mornings. As a response to the hate, Amy would shift the blame- That shit's crazy, bro. I remember uh, a few years ago I did that. Um for because my computer exploded and i told y'all what did i tell y'all i told y'all 
that was very early on in my channel. I told y'all, look, man, if you donate, I can get a new computer. I can upgrade my quality and everything. And what did I do? What did I do? That's what you do, bro, when you when you when you grinding and you're doing it for the right reasons, bro. I always add quality to my channel. You got to. You got to give back to your people, man. Herself, stating that her friend was the one who. If y'all watching YouTubers right now, bro, and they don't improve on their quality and they're making all this money and shit, and they're giving y'all these bullshit ass videos with these terrible cameras, terrible quality. You know, y'all gotta start really looking for quality, man. Y'all just be watching trash out here. Suggested that she make the GoFundMe. I do not take money very lightly. He says trash make it look pretty. The thing was not my idea. It was a friend of mine's idea. I didn't even edit the video or anything. But that video is down. However, while Amy did receive a bit of hate, the operation will prove to be successful after raising over $833, showing the Slayton sisters they asked for 10k possible but simple to extract money from their audience through GoFundMe, which would become a vital piece of information for the main scandal to be covered in this video. The other problem that the Slayton sisters encountered after growing an audience was that they could now be held accountable for the stories that they shared throughout their videos. For example, Amy would upload a video talking about a situation in which she had adopted a German Shepherd rescue dog before leaving in a camper van on a hot summer's day. Now, Amy would state that the air conditioning was on whilst the dog was inside and that the camper van was, quote, freezing. The camper has AC in it and we only put him in there for like 30 minutes. And who are y'all to judge me? However, when Amy would then reveal that the dog had gone crazy inside and smashed the air conditioning unit just to get out, her audience assumed that maybe the AC wasn't on and that the dog was going crazy because it had been overheating inside. Right. This theory would be supported further after Amy revealed that the dog had bitten her quite severely after escaping from the camper van, leading her audience to believe that the dog was all riled up after overheating. Why As a result, cigarette so long? Amy would state that the dog had been put in a 14-day quarantine. The dog is in 14-day quarantine. He, he has a week to go. However, with the bite mark being so severe and Amy taking the dog to the pound, whilst using the wording that the dog was no longer with her, the audience assumed that Amy had taken the dog to the pound to have it put down, resulting in the popular opinion that Amy was an animal abuser. I can't imagine this woman owning a German Shepherd. Shepherds need tons of activity both physically and mentally. She couldn't even take care of herself, let alone such a strong and intelligent breed. Right, I'm right. sorry, but I highly doubt she ran after the German Shepherd. You need to be relatively <laughs> active to own a dog like a German Shepherd, and you need to be trained to be able to take care of an abused yeah. dog. This sentiment will become even worse when- Hey, you gotta think though too, that's real though. He, he, he had a real point right there. Look, because I grew up, man, with dogs in the backyard and shit, and you know they out there in the hot ass sun flies on their ears and stuff like that I just never was a fan of that man so i believe bro and and know the temperament on a dog that you're getting so it could complement your lifestyle just don't get a dog just to be having a dog for company and shit you know this is crazy get a dog that you're capable of cohabitating with real talk and they shouldn't be sleeping outside and shit bro rap let, let's get it together at a later date, Tammy would upload Cages. a video talking about the celebration of her birthday at a gaming arcade, mentioning in passing that she felt sorry for their other dog, Little Bit, who had been left in the hot car whilst they were inside playing games. I feel bad for Little Bit because she sat outside in a hot car while we were having fun. But I did, while we were at, uh, getting something to eat, I did get a, a little bit some uh, ice water. So I thought about it, at least. Tammy said I was going to get her some water. What a selfish, disgusting bunch of people these three are. Poor, poor little dog. I'm surprised a little bit is still alive. These events did a pretty good job of destroying the Slayton sisters' reputation. However, as you might assume, it was only going to get worse from there on out, as Amy would find herself in yet another controversy after going on a date with a 19-year-old autistic kid at a local McDonald's. Yeah, what? what? That I had the worst night ever Friday, and it was a horrible night. It started off good. We met each other. Well, it wasn't the first time we met. Don't think that. I'm not that type of person. As mentioned, in the beginning the date seemed to have been going well, to the extent that Amy and her date decided to book a hotel so they could go and get frisky together, at which point things would start to head in a negative direction. And then we went to a hotel room. I finally got up and I started loving on him. I was trying to give him a hickey because he was a virgin and he never had a hickey before. So I was giving him a hickey and he was like, quit biting me and I'm like, I'm not biting you. And he was like, yeah you are. So I bit him. After biting her date and assumably scaring him off during the intimate moment, he would take to Facebook, posting a status written in an ancient hillbilly dialect, which will receive a response from Amy about the size <laughs> of his penis. Following this, Amy would go on to upload her video discussing- Nigga, he said what? An ancient pit- What? Dialect? Wow. Oh, that's hilarious. That's, that's fucking hilarious right there. Yeah. 
Yo, she up here trying to dome up a... That's, look, man, I ain't discriminating. Look, man, they need love, too. It is what it is, man. But I think she's taking advantage of the young man. That's it. It's crazy. It's in the night where she would completely dox the guy in the comment section with his Facebook page and telephone number, after which he would be harassed by Amy's YouTube audience. In somewhat of a hilarious act of karma, Amy would then go on to get into another relationship, which would ultimately end in separation after Amy's YouTube audience decided to get involved. I hope y'all guys are happy. David just broke up with me. <laughs> Because everybody was harassing. Now y'all see why I don't tell people who I'm updating. Yeah. Because y'all bully and harassing. And then he don't. And while this would mark the end of Amy and Tammy's reputational base scandals, it would ironically mark the beginning of what would be many financial controversies, beginning when their audience discovered that the sisters had been receiving government assistance in a video titled Amy's Toxoplasmosis. Amy would explain that yeah, as well. a result of being legally blind, she had been receiving social security payments. I'm not on disability for my weight. I'm on disability because of my eyesight. It would then be revealed later that Tammy was also receiving disability payments for her morbid obesity, which would result in backlash from her audience, stating that they were rorting the system by receiving money from both the government and their job as YouTubers. In addition to receiving money from these two sources, they also began to make money from selling merch, before many would claim that this was also a scam. The merch site was suspicious from the very beginning and read as follows. If you purchase Tammy's order. merch, you can add it to a private group chat with Tammy. To purchase, head over to the donate section and donate the appropriate amount, $35 $5 for t-shirts, $50 for hoodies, then head to the contact section and email us with the you use to make the purchase. The reason that the Slayton sisters requested for purchases to donate the appropriate amount became pretty obvious. They're definitely scamming the tax system and sliding money to Tammy so she can stay on disability from what it seems. I support a good side hustle, but this one is super shady. What the hell kind of sketchy ass website is this? I just donate my money and hope to God I get something in return? No tracking or proof of purchase? Refunds? No thank you. This feels like a way to scam the IRS somehow. I didn't sell anything, people donated. It got worse when fans would come to realize that the sisters hadn't been paying the artists who had completed the designs for the merch. A representative for Tammy would take to Instagram stating, all people who make artwork don't ask to get paid, but to simply get a follow or notice by Tammy. Most of the artwork on the website right now was designed by at blank, our website designer and at blank again. However, apparently this wasn't the arrangement made with the artists. In an article written about the scam by Showbiz Cheat Sheet, it was mentioned that at least one artist has claimed they requested their art not be used without payment and have since been blocked and have had their artwork misattributed to someone else. This artist would take to Instagram in a post reading, I wasn't being unfair at all, just saying how my artwork is being passed off as someone else's when I spent time doing it and I've now been blocked yet my design is still up on your website, not really fair at all. All I wanted was credit for it, that's all. As a result of this scandal, Tammy's TikTok with over 1 million followers on which she had promoted her merch would be permanently banned. However, this still doesn't make it the most notorious controversy in the slate and sister's history bringing oh. us to the infamous funeral scam that shit crazy before we get to that that's that, that that's that's deep right there you know um y'all gotta understand the climate uh of where things is turning for a lot of these people man especially these motherfuckers living off the government and stuff man uh they definitely gotta get their money under the table but i think this is really true you know this shit looks compelling but you know i don't believe everything i see on the internet and all the videos i see you know i'm just one of those people man i got my own brain own thoughts but i think she is trying to got down get over this shit crazy because how long have they and then on top of that how long have they been on this show bro tammy has not lost weight too it's like she wants to stay on disability or some shit bro it began when Tammy I think they're using the her for views at this point fell over in the bathroom before waking up the following day without the ability to breathe I woke up and I couldn't breathe like that like I really couldn't breathe and look after at, being rushed to hospital that's crazy. we discovered that Tammy had contracted pneumonia I went to the hospital and the ambulance took x-rays and supplies went by and they told me I had pneumonia and I was gonna have to stay in the hospital whilst in the hospital Tammy's condition would worsen leading her to pass out for three and a half weeks whilst on life support during which Amy would be begin the GoFundMe. Now, to Amy's credit, it probably was pretty scary having your overweight, unhealthy sister on life support for over three weeks. However, to begin planning for the funeral before she had even died was almost comically pessimistic, which had become even funny when Amy stated that the money was to fund Tammy's triple size extra large coffin. But Tammy being so big, it's she said that does happen. Her coffin is gonna cost them. <laughs> More because they have to triple the size of the coffin. Whilst mentioning that Tammy was on a medical card, however, the amount of money it provided would not be enough to cover the funeral. She is on a medical card. The medical cards will not cover 
all of the bills. So let's go for a big account will be for Tammy Schmuter if she dies. So please, please find it in your heart to donate. The GoFundMe. Look, man, like, I, I mean, at the end of the day, bro, like, look, look, man. Funeral services, they do cost a lot of money, y'all. Things are, look, I ain't, I ain't trying to side with them or nothing, but them shits are expensive. Um, But they asking for 1500 this time? So, bro, but they asked for, that shit don't make no sense, but they asked for 10 k for the computer. All right, bet, man, we, you know what? Fuck that, we just gonna keep going, y'all. This shit's stupid. Me itself, which would raise a total of $818, read, this fund is for if anything was to happen to her, will go to her funeral. If she makes it through this, the money will stay there or go to her hospital bills that insurance won't pay. I won't ask, but I don't know what else to do. Please, please help us, even if it's cents. Thank you and may God bless you. Now, if Amy had approached the situation from the angle of, we're just doing this to cover the hospital bills and left it at that, there probably wouldn't have even been any backlash. However, since she had put so much weight on the possibility of death and people had donated assuming that she was going to die, when she would return to the videos a few weeks later laughing, joking, and eating junk food as if nothing had ever happened, obviously the audience and those who had donated weren't all that happy, judging from the 85% right. dislike ratio of the original We Need Your Help video. It also wow. didn't help that in a different video, Amy would reiterate that the money wasn't going to be spent on anything besides the funeral. We won't be spending it on anything but the funeral. I just wanted to clarify that. Or I'm going to take it up to the funeral home where it can build interest. I probably will. No, 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 no. No, 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 the fuck you not like no, 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 no. That don't even make sense. See, that that's what happens when somebody that's not educated say some shit to you know some moderately educated people. You feel me? Now, you can say that to a stupid motherfucker, but you can't say that to to the internet, bro. Like it's it's some intelligent people on here. That's not gonna fly. Get them people they damn money back. You don't. They was doing this for a funeral. What you yeah yeah planning out her fuck like that's that's, that's weird, bro. Get on people they money back. We'll take it to the funeral home and let it build interest. So build interest, happen, my ass. That is a backup plan. So when it was confirmed that there was yeah, no planning funeral, her death. a new question had been created. Where had the money gone? Amy would state that she had transferred the money to her mother to pay for Tammy's medical bills. The money that y'all donated for Tammy when she was in the hospital, I gave it to my mother who paid bills with Tammy's bills regardless if that's what she used the money for or not that's what i did with it i gave it to my mother who paid bills however when her audience would ask her to prove it she'd state that it was her mother's responsibility to provide the receipts my mom is trying to find the receipts but if she can't find them that's on mom not me then in another video Nigga, statement, what? the receipts had been thrown what? completely i know i've been wrong i should not throw receipts away but in my head i wasn't thinking well these receipts might come to bite me in the ass you know i I wasn't thinking that. I'm a, it was a simple mistake. However, if the GoFundMe had Say been that done online, then surely she was using internet banking. Why couldn't she provide a screenshot of the bank transfer to her mother? Medical bill receipts don't seem like something that you just throw away. It no, was suspicious you don't. that she was unable to provide any evidence for the money going towards the hospital stay, especially when her audience would notice that she also happened to buy a new laptop and a new camper right after the GoFundMe had concluded. At a later date, Tammy would go on to state that Amy's GoFundMe made her angry as she felt as though she didn't need help. And when I I found out Amy did the whole GoFundMe thing. Believe me, I was mad. Cause from one, I knew I wasn't gonna die. And two, I didn't want help. I, not the person, wanna ask for help. The most interesting part about the whole ordeal is that while most disgraced YouTubers simply fade into obscurity as the years go by, the Slayton sisters have managed to remain relevant after rolling their public image into a TLC show titled 1000 Pound Sisters, on which Amy has since lost over 100 pounds, has gotten married, had a baby, and is looking healthy compared to her early days on YouTube. Unfortunately, the same can't be said for Tammy, yeah. whose continual weight gain underpins much of the show's Look at that. That's uh, you know it's 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 sad, bro. You know, um, it's sad that, and you're talking about people that's on a TV show, bro. Like they're getting paid from that shit too. It's not like they're not getting paid anything, and then they're making money from the YouTube videos. YouTube is very lucrative. They're getting the views. I don't. I'm confused. I'm really confused to the levels of uh, like stupidity I, I, I've seen in this video and the way that they try to explain what what she did with the money and then that that that, that, that for me that feels like a guilty person and I'm not saying that they're guilty of this look man I'm just saying from my perspective it seems like people she's just 
giving y'all the easy route of letting like 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 you know what i'm saying she ain't provided receipts she's making excuses she has no excuse for not showing receipts because if you make a transaction online you can have that receipt you know in person you have that receipt and then on sometimes when you even pay for stuff they send you both you know where's the receipt I'm, I'm t I, 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 they, they, I think they, they pay bills with it. They pay bills with it. They're just bad with money. I think they're just really bad with money. And I, I feel like they're exploiting Tammy at this point. You know, the only one that got results was the other sister. Tammy has, she's still gaining weight, bro. And it's sad that nobody is really pushing Tammy to help her. If you really love that person, you're going to do everything you can. That was my sister. I'd be over there every day. We going for a walk. I don't give a damn what she talking about. We at least gonna go for a walk. I go over there cook for my sister. I, I prep her meals for her. If it's that far, you know what I'm saying? That's what you do for family. But look, man, just because you blood don't make you family, though. At the end of the day, man. I see y'all the next video, man. Hopefully y'all got something from this. And like I always say, spread love because there's too much hate in this world. Love you guys. I see y'all the next video, and I'm out though. Bye.